Hi everybody, so today we're going to be talking about cytotoxic T-cells. And what exactly are cytotoxic T-cells? Well, if you remember, in the video where we talked about humoral immunity, we said basically what your white blood cells do is they go around the body and they look for pathogens or things that should not belong in the body. And then they eat them or phagocytize them. They break them down and then they take a piece of the antigen and they present that on their cell membrane and then they go over to um, your lymph nodes and then your lymph nodes would be in your T cells, go ahead and they make antibodies and memory cells and things such as that in case you get infected with that again. Now that's if the bacteria or the virus or whatever the pathogen is, is outside of a cell. But what if it gets inside a cell? Well, what does your body do then? Well, that's where cytotoxic T cells come into play. So let's take a look at this. And let's say we have a cell, okay? And this is our cell here. And now, like all cells that are in your body, this is, going not, this is going to have a nucleus. Not all cells in your bodies don't have nuclei, but um, in this case, this cell has a nucleus. So if it has a nucleus, it's going to have a marker on the outside. So this is going to be called my major histiocompatibility complex one, or simply known as MHC1. And again, this is going to be on all cells that have a nucleus. Now, also on this, you are going to have a marker, which is known as a self-antigen. Okay, so this is our self-antigen here. And what a self-antigen does is it basically tells your immune system, hey, I belong here. I should be in, in this uh, body, so please don't attack me, okay? Now, Let's say somehow this cell gets infected by a virus, or this can also happen with cancer. So now what's going to happen is my virus is going to come in, and sometimes what can happen is the virus can actually combine with DNA, or it can actually do something called a ribosome. But either way, it can do something to where we are going to get viral protein. So this is going to be my viral protein now. And eventually what's gonna happen is you have enzymes called proteases, which are going to change these proteins and make them into more of the virus. In cancer, you're gonna also produce proteins too. And what the body will do is, or what the cell will do is it'll actually take these proteins, right? So I'm gonna just put that, these are proteins. And it's going to present them on this cell antigen. Now, what's going to happen is this, I have my cytotoxic T cell now. So here's my cytotoxic T cell. And on the cytotoxic T cell, you have a protein that can attach to this MHC1. So we have this protein here, and this is called CD8 positive. So I have a CD8 positive protein that's right here. However, what will happen now is if you notice, I have this viral protein right here. So now on this TC, I mean, I'm sorry, on this cytotoxic cell, this is called a TCR or T cell receptor. When the T cell receptor can bond to something, also known as TCR, when that can bond to something and realize that this is not supposed to be on there, that's going to activate this. This will actually become something called an effector T cell. So this is going to become an effector T cell. And two things are going to happen. One, this is going to go on and start multiplying to make more effector T cells. I'm just going to put uh, ETC for effector T cells. Right, but it's also eventually gonna make memory T cells. So that way, if we ever run into this viral protein again, the body's gonna be ready for an attack. So now, now that this has happened, what will happen is, and again, this has also got a nucleus in it. So the nucleus is now going to start making some proteins, which we call preference, P-E-R-F-O-R-I-N-S. And what the preference is going to do is it's going to make holes in this membrane, okay? Now, the second thing that this cytotoxic T cell is going to produce 
is something that's called, let me get a purple color here. It's going to produce something called granzymes. Okay, and then what granzymes will do is they are gonna go into these holes here and they will go up to the DNA and they are gonna basically make the DNA start to produce uh, proteins that will cause something called apoptosis. Apoptosis is programmed cell death. So basically what's gonna happen now is the cell is going to basically do things so that it can kill itself. If it can kill itself, now my virus, uh, my viral proteins or my virus or my cancer cells cannot now go on and produce. So it's going to do this, and when it does, it's going to produce something called Bax, B-A-X, Bax. And my Bax is going to look something like this. Now, also inside the cell, you probably, if you remember in high school, you had the powerhouse of the cell, which we called mitochondria. I'm gonna draw this one really big, okay? Mitochondria would not be this big inside your cell. But at the same time, I am going to draw the membranes, okay? And so this, remember, these, this is a membrane, this is the outer membrane, this is the inner membrane. And in here, you actually have proteins there. Let me see, let's go with, um, I'll go with blue. So I am going to have proteins here that attach to the membrane. And this protein is going to be called B, C, L, 2, all right? So now, what's gonna happen is this Bax protein is going to attach onto this BCL2, right? And then what it will do is it is going to pull it out. So now I've got this over here, and I've got this protein over here. Now, if you know, and this is gonna happen in more than one location on this mitochondria. I know this one's more round than this one, just pretend like it's the same shape. Now, let's just say that this happened over here. So here's what's gonna happen now. If you notice, there's an opener now. So this got pulled out, and now I have an opener. Well, inside of this, we have something called cytochrome C. So the cytochrome C can now come out when the cytochrome C comes out, it is going to make something called caspases. And what the caspases will do now is it will start a reaction, which is going to go on and create something called apoptosis. And remember, we said apoptosis is basically it's programmed cell death. Now, after this is done, eventually what's going to happen is this effector T cell and all the other ones it made because it's going to also multiply and make more effector T cells, like I said up here. These are going to go on to become memory T cells. Okay, and so the memory T cells, again, are going to be there in case we happen to run into this viral protein here again. Now it's more prepared for the attack. So that's basically what cytotoxic T-cells do, and thank you so much for watching.